When you create an app with an app wizard or install a K2 Smart Starter app in your K2 environment, you do have the ability to use K2 Designer to make changes to an app's workflow, smart objects, views, and forms if your business need calls for it. In this demonstration, I'm going to make an update to the document approval app wizard application that I have already installed in my K2 environment, which you can see listed in the favorite apps workspace here on my screen. To edit a workflow for this application, we can go over to K2 Designer. Let's open this tool up from the Favorite Apps workspace by clicking on the K2 logo next to the words Favorite Apps in the upper left of the page, then select Designer from the menu options, and we'll go over to that Browser tab. To get down into the location where this app was created, we can click on the Browse button to open up the All Items category structure for this environment. When an app is created from one of the three App Wizard template options, K2 will create it under the Submit for Approval category, the Send a Survey category, or the Create and Edit Lists category. These categories line up with the Approval, Survey, and List Collaboration template style apps on the new app screen when you create an app. The Smart Starter apps will be installed under the Apps K2 Smart Starters category in a similar fashion. To get started, I'm going to edit a workflow for the document approval app, which we can find installed in the Submit for Approval category under All Items. We can open that parent category and drill down into the document approval application category for this app. As you can see, K2 organizes all of the K2 elements for this app, like forms, views, smart objects, and workflows into their own folder, essentially. You can edit any of these elements as needed. I'm going to open the Workflows category and go down to the Document Approval Application workflow that was installed. From here, we can right-click on it, then select Edit to open the workflow. Remember, any changes to this workflow will not be published to your K2 environment until you physically deploy from K2 Designer. Do exercise caution when making these edits. Upon deploying, your changes will not affect workflow instances currently in progress, but new instances will use the newly deployed workflow as they are started. Take care not to break your workflow, and it is advisable to test your changes in a development or test environment first. Notice, with editing this workflow, you get all the same workflow steps that you see when building custom applications. You can add steps in, remove steps if necessary, and expand the workflow to integrate with other systems using smart objects. This may include storing the approved document in a document storage system at the end of the workflow, publishing it to a corporate announcements website, or maybe you want to update a related record in your Salesforce or SAP system. For this workflow, I'm just going to edit the send email step for the approved path of the workflow to add a little more context by adding the name of the document that was approved in the workflow to the body of the message. This workflow does have multi-steps configured in a few places. The send email step I want to edit is down in the approval decision path that comes out of the final review decision step. We can open a multi-step by clicking on the down arrow in the upper left corner of the icon. Upon doing this, the multi-step opens and shows a listing of all the steps embedded within. I'll select the Approved Email step, then open the Configuration panel by clicking on the arrow icon in the upper right corner of the page, just under the Save button. I'll make sure that I'm on the Send Email Properties tab to expose the subject and body of the message. Then I'm just going to add the text document under the approval notice here in the body. Let's also make this text bold in the text editor. Then we can open up the context browser to get into the references for our data sources. We can expand the data object detail reference, open the document option under that, and drag the document name placeholder over, and drop it in just after the text I added. From here, we can save the workflow and deploy it by going up to the File menu option in the upper left, select Deploy from this window, and that should do it. For the sake of time, rather than walk through the whole document submittal process in this video, I paused and ran a test of this workflow. 
As you can see, in an instance of Outlook Web Access, our change did come across in the email message as intended. To quickly review the editing steps we just walked through, we were able to make changes to a workflow that was part of the document approval app generated from a K2 App Wizard style template. Remember that you do have the ability to customize workflows that are created for any of the App Wizard or Smart Starter apps within the K2 app framework.